Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're reading a little golden book called Rico the Brave Sock Monkey by Fiona Remt, illustrated by Noelle Smith. This is a new story. I'm very curious about this. <clears throat> One day in a faraway toy factory, a sock monkey was born. As he was being stuffed and stitched, loud noises crashed around him and machines swung and rocked him back and forth. The factory looked like a haunted house, but the little sock monkey was not afraid. Finally, the day came when he was ready to leave the factory. He was tucked into a box and then put on a truck. The truck rumbled away. And there's Rico's hand sticking out of the box. It was so dark inside the sock monkey's box that he couldn't see his own hands, but he wasn't afraid. He even fell asleep as the truck drove through the night. When the sock monkey woke up and his eyes got used to the light, he found himself in a jungle full of animals. A lion, a tiger, and a crocodile were all watching him, but he was not afraid. Then a pretty lady lifted him up and said, Hello there, little sock monkey. Welcome to the toy store. The next morning, when the store opened, another lady came in. She looked at all the toys, and then she took the sock monkey's hand and gave him a big smile. Would you like to come home with me, she asked him. Someone very special is waiting for you. How exciting, thought the sock monkey, and he wasn't afraid, even when he was wrapped up in tissue paper. Soon the sock monkey could hear lots of strange noises, honking, talking, laughing, whistling, barking. There were outside noises, and of course the monkey had never been outside, but he wasn't afraid. He even stuck his nose through a little hole in the wrapping paper and sniffed the fresh, cold air. When the sock monkey felt the crinkly tissue paper coming off, he looked up to see a boy's two brown eyes gazing down at him. He'd never seen anything so beautiful. The sock monkey felt himself being squeezed very tightly. It was his first hug. I'm going to call you Rico, said the boy. Rico hugged the boy back and put his head on the boy's shoulder. Rico and the boy instantly became best friends. They played the wildest games. Even when, Rico, even when Rico was doing very difficult tricks, he was absolutely not afraid. The boy never let Rico leave his side. They were always together. As the boy grew up, Rico was more and more proud of him. But one day, the boy put Rico in a closet. Poor Rico. For the first time in his life, Rico was a bit scared. He was afraid of being all alone. Rico waited and waited, and then he fell asleep for a long, long time. One day, the closet door finally opened. Two brown eyes were looking down at Rico. It was his old friend. Rico was taken out of the closet at last.
and was plopped into a washing machine. He got soaking wet and a little dizzy, but he wasn't afraid. After he was washed, he was hung up outside to dry, but he wasn't afraid then either. He liked drying off in the warm sunshine and having his family around him again. Look at you, Rico. You're the bravest monkey in the whole world. Two big green eyes gazed up at Rico. And once again, he felt himself being squeezed very tightly. He knew he'd found a new best friend. Rico was the happiest sock monkey in the world and was afraid of almost nothing. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.